chapter 80, the header. The United States is set up so that free agency is protected, somewhat, by the government. Experience is the most proficient teacher. Lucifer's plan is in its full effect upon the earth during the last days. Lucifer's plan versus God's plan. 1. And now, it is expedient that I give unto you an accounting of the life and ministry of this first prophet among you, even he who is called Joseph after his father. 2. And it shall come to pass that after this great nation shall begin to establish itself upon the land of my fathers, even among all the great nations of the earth, the principles of freedom and liberty shall be more fully instated in the principles of its government. 3. And because they shall be somewhat protected by the constitution and articles of this great nation during this half of time, all the children of God shall begin to see the reasons why there are different degrees of glory in the kingdom of the Father, according to the eternal laws of heaven, and also that they might know for themselves that the kingdom which they have chosen for themselves is the kingdom that shall bring them the greatest amount of joy and eternal happiness. 4. Behold, up until this time, the Father shall restrict the free agency of his children in some things, and that in which he hath restricted them is in the knowledge and understanding of the natural laws of heaven that control the elements and control the principles of the temporal nature that we are experiencing in mortality. 5. For behold, the Father knoweth that Lucifer, who is also one of his children, who hath been granted the right to his free agency, should be given the ability to introduce many of these eternal laws to men upon the earth according to the conditions of his own plan, so that he might have the opportunity to see his plan tested in its full effect. 6. And now, it is exceedingly important that ye understand more concerning the power that Satan hath over those of you who shall receive these things in the latter days, and also that ye might know more fully the purpose and principles of the plan of Lucifer that he uses to show an alternate course to joy and happiness than that which the Father presented to us in the beginning. 7. Behold, it is not the desire of Lucifer that we argue and fight and become contentious, because he knoweth that these things cause us tremendous unhappiness, and the end of the plan that Lucifer desireth for us is that we all have the eternal joy and felicity of the celestial kingdom and also that we might have all the power and all the glory that our Father hath without the responsibility of proving ourselves worthy of such power. 8. Therefore, it is the desire of Lucifer to show unto us his alternate plan, which he hath been trying to incorporate into the mortal existence of the children of men since the beginning. 9. And during the time and times, and also during this last half of time, as well as the time before the accounting of the times given in the revelations that the prophets revealed unto us for our own instruction and learning, or before the covenant was given unto Abraham, yea, even while the Father commanded his gospel to be given to the children of men through the ministrations of the spirit world, and by the mouth of his holy prophets, Satan hath been allowed to use his influence over the hearts of the children of men, to incorporate his plan into their lives. 10. Therefore, the Father hath given him much opportunity to prove his plan unto us. Now, here is a mystery that ye of the latter days have not known, and which is necessary to know that ye might more fully understand all things according to the truth of God, and not the opinions and imaginations of men, which cause all truth to become mysterious unto them. 11. Behold, Satan desireth all people to be happy living according to the precepts and conditions of his plan. He doth not want us to hate each other and cause each other to experience misery and pain. Yea, he doth not want us to suffer from the vicissitudes of life to such an extent that we are miserable enough to know that the course of our lives is not producing the happiness that we all desire. 12. For if we experience life, and realize that there is no peace and happiness in the life that we have chosen to live for ourselves, then we must ask ourselves why we are not experiencing happiness. 
and which plan are we following that bringeth this misery unto us? 13. Yea, are we following the plan of the Father, which giveth this peace and happiness without price, without strain and toil, and is a peace and happiness that lasteth for ever? 14. Or are we following the plan of Lucifer, which ensures us the temporary joy and happiness that we experience while benefiting from the blessings that he hath given unto us? But afterwards we find no peace or happiness that remaineth in our souls, but we find an emptiness and a sorrow, which is as if a man who dreameth, and in his dream he eateth all that his heart desireth. But when he awaketh from the dream, he seeth himself, and remaineth empty and unsatisfied. 15. And Christ spoke of this hunger many times as he taught the Jews. And he spoke of the blessings that the plan of Lucifer offereth to the children of men. And many times he made a contrast between these blessings and the blessings that were given of the Father. 16. And he taught the people, saying, Woe unto you that are rich! For ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. 17. And now I have already explained unto you that the fruits that ye shall receive by following the plan of Lucifer are riches, honours, and the glories of men and a temporary joy that ye feel when ye find happiness in those things which are temporary. Yet your happiness remaineth not thereafter. 18. And now it is the desire of the Lord that ye know this of Satan and his plan, even that it is a good and a righteous plan to those whom he hath convinced to follow him. 19. And it is not Satan that causeth the wars among men, nor doth he cause their unhappiness and their misery. Behold, why do ye think that he would cause such things, when he hath made a promise unto those that follow him, that they shall not suffer these things, but shall be happy following his plan? 20. And do ye think that Satan can command your spirits, and that they will obey his commands, and do what he desireth of them? 21. I say unto you that he cannot give a command unto your spirit, and cause you to do that which ye do not want to do. 22. Behold, he can inspire you to follow him, and give unto you feelings and thoughts that would entice you to follow him. But he cannot go against the eternal law of free agency that has been given to all the children of God in their independent state of existence. 23. And because he cannot force us in any way, therefore he is not responsible for our sins and the evil which we do during the days of our probation. 24. And again, his desire is to give happiness unto us and cause us to rejoice in the plan that he hath presented to us, that we might reject the plan of the Father and follow his plan. 25. And the wars, and rumours of wars, and all contention, and the misery that we suffer during the days of our probation, are because we are trying to follow the plan of Lucifer, which seemeth the right plan to the flesh. 26. And now, Satan hath convinced our flesh that his plan can give us the happiness that we desire. Yet, when we follow the enticements of the flesh, which are the enticements of the plan of Lucifer, and his blessings, we cause the wars and the contention and the misery among us. 27. Thus we are learning from experience during the days of our probation that it is impossible for us to gain the eternal joy and happiness that has been promised us by the Father by following the plan of Lucifer. 28. And we have been given ample examples of the way in which our spirits learn. For what child that belongeth unto you, according to the flesh, listeneth to all of your counsel, and believeth that which ye already know from your own experience. 29. Do they not fight you in that which ye attempt to teach unto them, and claim that ye are unwise, and that ye do not understand them? Yea, do they not want to follow their own course in life, according to their understanding, and listen to their own hearts before considering that which ye have taught unto them? 
30. Ye know that the children of men do not learn through reason and trust, but must be taught through experience that which they shall accept as the truth. 31. And thus it is with our spirits, who are the literal children of the Father. Yea, he hath taught us what will bring us happiness, and hath shown us the path that we should follow to find this happiness. But he doth not condemn us for not understanding his ways, and accepting his experience and wisdom in all things. But he loveth us, and giveth us every opportunity that we need to learn for ourselves what bringeth happiness, and what bringeth misery unto us. 32. And he alloweth us to use our free agency to pursue whatever course we might think is better than the course that he hath set before us, which is the only way to eternal life and happiness. 33. For this reason it was symbolically taught unto us, and passed down from Adam concerning the first commandments that the Father gave unto Adam and Eve. 34. At first he commanded them that they should not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, or in other words, that they should not give in to the enticements of the flesh, but maintain control over it according to his commandments. 35. But then he commanded them to multiply and replenish the earth, which would have required them to partake of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. 36. Now, they could not obey both of the commandments of the Father, but Eve chose the more righteous commandment for herself and the joy that she wanted to experience. For she wanted to be a mother and learn by experience that which she should know and understand in order to become an eternal mother in the celestial kingdom, where she would rejoice in her children forever. 37. Therefore, she chose to disobey the Father and partake of that which was not commanded by the Father, thus enabling her to become a mother, and in this choice she was blessed above Adam. 38. And Satan encourages the children of men to seek other ways to obtain the happiness that they can experience from the flesh without obeying the commandments of the Father. And the Father hath allowed his children to do this, that we might all learn by our own experience the difference between his plan and the plan of Lucifer, or in other words, the difference between good and evil. 39. And now, for this reason Lucifer demanded of the Father that he be allowed in the last days to introduce some of the knowledge of the power of God into the world, so that he might show forth his plan more fully to the children of men. 40. And with the ability that this power would allow him, Satan would be able to give unto them more of the fine things of the earth, and make their lives easier to live without the toil and struggle of the work that they were commanded to do by the sweat of their own brow, for the sake of their own experience, which commandment was given by the Father in the beginning. 41. And ye shall see the great effects of this power that Satan shall introduce into the world in the last days. Yea, ye shall see the imminent destruction that hangeth over the heads of the children of men in the last days. Because of this knowledge and this power that Satan hath been allowed to give unto them. 42. And in those days ye shall see the rich and the proud rise up above their brothers and their sisters. And ye shall also see the poor, that they shall envy that which the rich are experiencing, which they believe shall give them happiness and the easiness of life. 43. Yea, ye shall see that the plan of Lucifer shall again fail miserably, because of the things that he shall be allowed to give unto those who follow his path, which hath a gate that is broad and is easy into which to enter that upon entering this wide gate, they might follow the broad way to their own destruction. 44. But before this day, it shall be expedient that the Father once again establisheth his plan also into the hearts of those who have the desire to follow him and enjoy the fruits of the Spirit which are promised to all those who follow his plan. 45. And it shall be expedient that his gospel be restored in its fullness to the earth to begin the last time period known as the half of times. End of chapter 80.